Hi, this is David Koffer. Welcome to another episode of Sophisticated Litigation Support Channel. Today we have with us Bill Baker. He's in our Austin office and he's going to talk about whether or not you need to image an entire hard drive or server when you're conducting your forensic collections. So I'll let Bill take it from here. Hi, my name is Bill Baker. I'm a consultant with Terrace in Austin. I wanted to talk to you about forensic collection today. And when I give CLEs, I get a lot of questions about whether or not you have to image an entire server or hard drive in order to collect the evidence effectively. You really don't. Let's say that you have a four terabyte server in a large organization and you only need a few documents off of that server. You don't have to shut the whole thing down and disrupt that business for a day or two. You can just go in and get exactly what you want. The key to that is um, interviewing custodians to find out their habits and where they save and how they like to save um, documents on the server, where they're allowed to save documents on the server, the permissions they're given by the IT staff, and what kind of documents they use, if they use Word documents or Excels primarily, PDFs or PowerPoints. Find all of that out and then go to, go to the server with the forensic collection tool that can do what's called a custom content image or something similar. So you simply just plug your forensic tool into the server and surf down to exactly the files you want and only those files and you can create a forensic image of just those files. This is going to save you a lot of money in processing and collection costs. Thanks. Hey, that's great information. Thanks a lot, Bill. And if you would like more information about our litigation support services, you can contact us at 888-99-TERRIS, that's T-E-R-I-S, or visit our website at terrace.com. Thanks.